So the first use case, I have the priority here. So you can see priority and I have a custom field here that's called single choice with three options. I want to map these two. So how do I do that? First things first, I go to the outgoing sync and I send over the priority. Perfect. Then we can just, as an example, go to the entity sync status. So here, entity sync status, you can check exactly what is getting sent over. So if you just type in the ID for eight zero, and you can see here are the two replicas. One is what we are sending over and one is what we are receiving. So let's see what we are sending over to Jira Cloud. And we can see that the priority indeed is in the payload. All right, so let's do this use case. For this use case, I will go to the incoming sync on Jira Cloud and then specify what you want to sync here. So let's say synchronize the priority from Azure DevOps to this Jira Cloud. You want to be as specific as possible, please. Where priority one is equal to A. Priority two is equal to B and priority three is equal to C. The custom field in Jira Cloud where you are synchronizing it to is called, let's just copy the exact naming. Okay. Perfect. So let's send it over. And then we trained the AI on all the use cases, all the libraries, and all of the code that our engineers have written. So let's see what it will give back. And you can just iterate through them. So, all right. Let's just say insert changes. Okay, and then publish it. All right, so let's try it out. I'm going to change the priority from three to two. And then here, let's see if we have this mapped to our custom field. So I'm going to refresh. Okay, so it's mapped. So let's try another one. One, let's save it. Okay, and then <clears throat> let's refresh. And yeah, it's changed. Wonderful. All right, 